Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is a full nine Viking boat Easter egg guide. This thing has been unsolved for about a month. It's taken literally a month for this to have any progress happen, but today we're going to be running through the full Easter egg. The ultimate reward for this, once you eventually do the egg, is that you'll be able to give yourself a random perk. Now, the extra exciting thing is that on nine, there's actually a way to get a further random perk beyond that as well, and they stack on top of your regular four perks. So you can get six perks on nine by following this guide, which is pretty insane. To start with, I recommend that you do your first three challenges in the spawn area of the map and get yourself the Pack-A-Punched pistol. That's because that pistol is going to be really useful for you to do the challenges to open the Pack-A-Punch area on the map. In case you don't know, to start your challenges, you need to come over to one of the ropes in spawn corresponding to each of the god statues and knife it. That will start your challenges. Now, if you just want to do the Viking part of this Easter egg, the Pack-A-Punch is going to be less of a big deal. I recommend that you still do it in your game. I'm not 100% if it's a prerequisite or not, but... Really, you should do that pap every game you play, so make sure you get that done. And in the process, you'll be earning points, you'll be opening doors, and you'll get yourself access to the Odin and Zeus parts of the map. These two areas are going to be very important for us to do this Easter egg, but in order to kick things off, we need to find three items. The first item is a golden helmet and can be easily found inside the Odin Tower on a shelf. You're going to want to hold F or square or X, basically hold interact to pick up the gold helmet. Then you're going to want to go down and run around to the left here as I'm doing in the video and you should find a sword inside one of the crypts. It will be lying on quite a low level and you'll be able to grab the sword pretty easily by just holding interact once again. Then if you keep running around to the other side of the map but still staying underground, you should be able to find a wooden cup just lying on the floor in the corner here next to the kind of elevated part of the room which leads down to the pack a punch. While you're doing all of this, if you want to get your sixth perk at the end of everything, you need to be completing your challenges. So you'll have challenges like get nine kills with the brazen bull. That's the shield on this map. So build the shield. I've got a guide for that on my channel linked in the description down below. You might have other challenges like survive a full round in the temple. That's the pack a punch room. So start working on those challenges. When you've got your three items, bring them all up to the boat that you'll find inside the top of the Odin Tower near the perk machine. You're going to be able to place all three of the items on the Viking who is inside the boat. The helmet obviously goes on his head. The wooden cup goes in the mouth of the ship itself. The boat itself has a little mouth which you can put the cup into. And finally, the sword goes in the Viking's hands. You should hear a sound cue once you've placed all three of those parts down. Your next task is to grab a Wraithfire grenade, which you need to have selected in your inventory before you started your game. And I'll update the description down below in case Treyarch patches this so you can do it with other grenades too, but at the time of me testing, it has only worked with Wraithfire. That could change though, of course, so I'll update the description and the pinned comment if it does so, but grab a Wraithfire grenade and come over to where I'm standing in the gameplay here inside the Zeus Tower. This part of the Easter egg is by far the hardest bit. You need to stand in the right spot such that you can throw a Wraithfire grenade between the correct pillars and end up hitting the Viking boat with the Wraithfire. The Wraithfire explodes on impact and so you can chuck this thing way into the air and it will arc all the way over between the towers of Zeus and Odin and then land on the Viking boat. And when you do it correctly, you'll end up with the Wraithfire effect actually staying on the Viking and continuing to burn him. This will often take a number of tries to get exactly right, and so the Equip Mint Elixir is quite useful for this, just to give yourself some refreshes on your special grenade. I find that using the kind of rod of the actual Odin statue up here can be quite useful to kind of align myself. I look at the floor, I see what the floor tile kind of pattern is, and then I stand just sort of to the left and front of the rectangular floor pattern, and then I aim up and I look just to the right of where that spear is that the Odin statue is holding and I chuck it and as you'll see in a separate gameplays here that I'm using of me doing it in multiple games you basically should be able to get that boat burning now once you've done that you need to progress six or seven rounds through the game now there's nothing else you need to do while you're doing this if you only want five perks but if you want a sixth perk 
in this time, you're going to want to be working on your other challenges. Now, as you go through the challenges, they're going to get more difficult. You might have some such as kill five tigers, which is an early challenge and that's pretty easy. But then you'll have others like knock nine pieces of armor off gladiators or kill nine gladiators or kill nine zombies with the death of Orion. And to do that, you'll need the wonder weapon for this map, which I have a guide for linked in the description down below. And I'll have linked in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. The death of Orion is in the box in this map, but it's very rare, so I recommend you follow my guide on that. Other challenges might include getting a certain number of kills while you're on the arena podium. That's the center of the arena, the center of the spawn area, the raised platform, getting a certain number of kills in there. And there are a variety of other possible challenges that I will describe in the description down below as well, so I can be comprehensive about this. When you get through to your seventh challenge, I believe it is, or maybe it's your eighth, but I think it's your seventh, you will end up being able to claim a reward once you've done the challenge, and that reward will be a free perk. It will be a little totem with a perk icon on it, and you'll be able to hold square or interact or whatever, and grab it for yourself, and you'll have five perks at that point. However, if in your game, you've already gone through your six rounds or so, six or seven rounds to get the Viking to be completed, what will happen with him is he will spawn in a very unique looking drop, which is actually an Odin kind of statue, and that will give you a free perk. So if you then go over to that totem in the spawn and claim another perk from that, from the challenges, you'll end up with six perks. Now, I'm going to show you some gameplay here of me using all six perks. That is as far as we know the Viking Easter egg to go. You also cannot get any further perks from just doing the challenges on this map. But I want to talk to you guys very briefly about the possibility of there being other perk Easter eggs like this on other maps and also later on in Black Ops 4. Obviously, in Black Ops 4, Treyarch changed the entire perk system, so staple perks of the past like Juggernog and Speed Cola are no longer present. Now, Jason's reasoning for this was that Juggernog became a crutch perk. People would go into their games, the first perk they would buy every game would be Jug, and they would always prioritize it over other perks, and so it meant that people's choices for perk selections were fairly limited. By removing Jug, he wanted to essentially prevent that from happening and give people more of an option as to what they were going to actually use in their games. Hence the fact that there are a bunch of perks in the game now, and you pick the ones that you want to use, and you can choose where they even go. Now, the really interesting thing is that they basically gave us kind of like halfway to default Juggernog by giving us 200 HP, and now it's turning out that there are other ways to get perks in this game. There currently aren't any ways to get like guaranteed perks other than buying the perks, but what I want to suggest today is that there's a strong chance, I would say, that there might be a way to get a perk, for example, like Speed Cola, some other way through the gameplay in Black Ops 4. And so, while you're following Easter egg guides like this, while you're playing your games, I really want you guys to be looking out for possible Easter eggs that we could do to grant ourselves Speed Cola. I think that in the same way that Jason basically said, Jug was a crutch, we're getting rid of it, but we're giving you health essentially just by default. The same thing I think could happen with Speed, and it could be like, you're using Speed Cola in every single game, we'll get rid of it, but there's a certain thing you can do to grant yourself Speed Cola. And I really think that that would be an amazing thing to find, and so we should all keep our eyes out and be vigilant for something like this happening in the future. There aren't currently any other perk Easter eggs on the other maps either, and I think that there's a strong chance that there's multiple on Voyage of Despair, and if those sorts of Easter eggs do end up getting found, I'll of course link them down below. The final thing I want to say is that this Easter egg has not been solved properly. Unfortunately, this one has been leaked. I don't want to take any credit for what's happened here. I don't want to say that I was the person to leak it or I was the person to solve it or anything like that. The Viking parts have been an unsolved mystery for literally a month. People have been doing that since literally the day of release. But unfortunately, it's been leaked now rather than being solved properly. I guess Treyarch need to up their security with this sort of thing. Anyway, I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully this guide has been useful and you've enjoyed all of the gameplay here of me going through the rounds, doing the challenges, getting six perks in one game. I also should note that they are not perma perks, by the way. So if you go down, you'll lose them, which sucks. But hey, that's life. I'll update you guys if I find anything more about this, though. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon in more Black Ops 4 Zombies Easter egg videos on my channel. Cheers, guys. I'll leave you with some gameplay here. Bye for now.
Time to get back in the fight. 